Hello and welcome to 2024. Uh, this is gonna be an exciting year for Pixel Art Academy. It's sort of a go big or go home or make it or break it year because uh, yeah, the game needs to come out on Steam. I've put myself on a personal sort of deadline. This year I'm gonna turn 40 in August 5th. So by then I need to figure out what my life is gonna be like because uh, right now I'm technically unemployed. I need to be thinking about retirement and right now I'm not, <laughs> not paying anything into my retirement fund. So either the game needs to pick up because that's the reality. Uh, we all need to pay food and then one day we'll be old and yep, we, <laughs> we need to figure out how we're gonna live. And so either, either I can run it as a sustainable business again, because in the past I was self-employed, I was getting enough money from Patreon and then running the school here. So these are my two jobs. It was enough to, to, to run it as a business, but in 2023 it was not. But in 2024, eventually I need something needs to happen. Otherwise I have to basically get a job. We're gonna see what happens. So far, I'm very optimistic. Uh, I'm always very optimistic, <laughs> but yeah. So it'll be it'll be it'll be an exciting year either way. All right. So what has been happening over the last uh, week or two uh, since uh, the last update? There was one feature that I did not put into the demo that I really want, and in February the demo will be featured on Steam Next Fest. This is like a few uh, times per year it happens where just the demos of unreleased games are celebrated and people can try them and there's a lot of attention goes into your game. There was one thing that people that have been playing the demo so far that have uh, been constantly pointing out when I watch people play on streams uh, and that is that there is no in-game music. There's a, a nice music from C. Jeff in the intro in the menu, uh, but then it just dies down and you just have the ambience. Now, uh, that's not how it was planned. The plan was always to have in-game music, but but when I tried to release the demo, I just had to cut stuff. Already back when I first released the demo, Anna Eichenauer, she's composed a song for the in-game music. I didn't have time to put it in, I didn't have time to even play around with it. Uh, but now in the last week, I finally had time to uh, put it in, put the different tracks into GarageBand and then cut it down into different pieces. Uh, here's about uh, how it sounds like. So we were talking a lot about this kind of like, it's a collaboration between the two of us. Uh, I'm doing so, sort of kind of like art direction, but I guess music direction. I was, I want to go for this sort of wa vapor wavy uh, 80s kind of uh, nostalgia music. I think she did a great job. This part here is actually one of my favorites. So yeah, it's gonna be some cool stuff. I've chopped it up here because now what happens is I need to actually make it as a whole concept was why it wasn't as simple as just put this song in and loop it because I wanted to make it dynamic music. Like I have my own engine for all of the audio and stuff. So why not also make music dynamic? So I've already coded some stuff, but now let's also just make all the tasks for the remaining things for this sprint. Here we go. Everything we're doing is to get towards Steam Next Fest and getting this demo as good as I imagine it can be. Yep, let's get to it and I will see you in a week in the next update. This is an unexpected development. It's been a week and I'm actually done with all of the tasks. If we look at the milestone task, everything high priority is done. Everything medium priority is done, meaning everything is pretty much working. I'm not gonna create an interface that I planned to, to kind of see how this dynamic music is fitting together and playing, because it was actually quite straightforward and everything just worked. So yeah, I'm very happy and let's go and have a listen. Here we are in the game, uh, some new things in the settings. Now we have, because I have plenty of audio options now, I've separated the display and audio separately. So in audio, uh, we have our volume sliders as before. Uh, you can also uh, change the ambient sounds of the environment separately from the normal, this sounds. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and there's this music effect. You will hear it later on. I will 
not spoil you. Uh, but now I will just raise the music up so you can focus on the new music from Anna Eichenauer. Here, if we look at into the credits, the new song, so the current one you're listening to, which has been created for the Kickstarter, was done by CJF, and now the new in game music is coming from Anna Eichenauer. Some wonderful work she did as a test, basically, how we could do uh, this sort of vaporwave music and. Uh, yeah, I've been cutting it out and putting it into a game and it sounds wonderful, so let's take a look. We're just gonna start our game. You know, the, the main music fades down and now we're gonna be just here in the little ambient of the office and now we're gonna go in. start to read the theme comes slowly in and starts the first section of the song and it's all dynamic because I started one of the tutorials when this section ends you will hear the drums kick in and a new section will be starting Ah, there's also the do 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 sound I added so that you can have a sound cue when you have completed a mission and also yes, if you've noticed the audio changes depending whether you are in the sort of menus and when you are drawing and just looking at the table as this effect like it would be sort of coming out of a radio so you're you're in the sort of space of drawing and then once you're done with drawing pulls you back into the now you're more in the game instead of I guess out of the zone but into the game and then when we go into the next one, we go back into the zone, the drawing environment. Just like that. And now, as we progress further on through the tutorials, the songs will start switching up. It has this do, 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 do thing going on. It's beautiful. <laughs> and now we're in the th final part of the tutorials. the final variation of the music. And just so that you have a little bit of a break from the music, and also when you're playing the game, it completely dies down. So yeah, I think because the song is sort of quite in the background uh, during this drawing process, hopefully you wouldn't get bored of it that quickly even though it's a two minute song three minute song and then you're gonna be playing the demo for let's say half an hour hopefully with these changes and this changing of intensity and going into this radio mode and stuff which you can turn off if it's annoying uh, but yeah with this in mind i hopefully it'll be quite a nice experience it's a very sort of chill uh, people say that it makes them nostalgic and almost even if they don't even know what they're making it's making them nostalgic for <laughs> but yeah to me it's definitely has that 90s vhs uh, vibe era i don't know afternoon when i'm drawing as a kid i don't know it's just great and a lot of people love it mm -hmm. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the new song. I know I do. It's so good. And hopefully we'll see if Anna is able to create uh, more songs for the future, uh, for early access. Um, but yeah, I will probably also be adding in some radio stations or little cassette tapes that you can find and put in to listen to. So there's, you know, some variety for if you want to listen to a different genre. Um, but right now I will just, since this sprint is over and we don't really need that feature for the demo, I'm just gonna wrap it up here and I can just continue to, to do all of these little small fixes that I wanted to do for the demo for Steam Next Fest. So yeah, thank you for this a shorter video because it's just two weeks and I will see you in the next update and you'll see how the new demo looks like in the end. All right. Well, hold up there, past Matei. Uh, the editing Matei here has a little bit of news. So, yeah, the week has gone really good and I've actually completed all of the tasks already for the Steam Next Fest. All the little improvements and tweaks are in. And so, just go. Just go to the Steam, Steam page here and you can download the demo uh, if you want to experience the in-game music that you've uh, just heard in the update so yeah hopefully you will enjoy it uh, let me know how it goes you can join uh, the discord and uh, yeah let me know there or in the comments on youtube here all right bye bye see you then